Alrighty, so me and dad been making some headway on the truck, kind of off camera, getting a lot of little piddly work done and some big work. Dad's got the distributor in, we got plugs in it. Uh, had to get a uh, rubber boot for the new brake booster master cylinder setup. And that is from a 62 to 72, somewhere in there, that year C10. Um, it works, it fits. Dad got it in there. Um, Dad got the rest of the brake lines in all the way to the back. Um, we do have to get a new adapter piece or the uh, uh, little connector that, that connects it together right there, but it's already in. So we've got all new brake lines here. So then we can finish that up. We wrestled the fuel tank in, got new rubber, and uh, same straps, just painted, but got the new fuel tank in. We got new hoses. Well, you can't see, but we got new hoses in it, hose clamps, got all that done. So, makes us a pretty good progress. Dad is uh, cleaning up and getting the, I'm not sure where he's got it. But anyway, the wiper motor and all that, he's getting it done and cleaned up because we're probably gonna paint it. And I'm making a new throttle cable bracket from the old straight six motor with the single barrel and trying to retrofit it to the new, or new old, new to me, Quadrajet uh, four barrel carb. And I uh, got a new throttle cable bracket on it. Dad got the valve covers on it. We gotta get some more bolts down there the cab inside here is all finished up and and painted um, we got up all in there is all nice and painted and cleaned i gotta go back and uh seam seal all this and all that but all this is gonna get covered up with sound in there anyway so not super concerned with all it so we're making lots of progress still but uh, like I said, right now I'm gonna finish making this bracket and uh, see how uh, see how far we get. All right, give us some gas. All the way on the floor. All right. Okay, let off. I think that's gonna work. All right, one more time. All the way on the floor. Everything's opening. All right. Okay, I think that'll work. No kidding. All right, so I'm gonna go. Oops. All right. Yep. This is the right direction. All right, I'm good. Yeah, I tried to line it up earlier. Okay, that'll come through. All right. Just let me know when you. I'm there. You're there. Yep. I definitely don't think that's right. Oh, that, that works. I guess this is the way that it's supposed to be. I don't know. Yeah, that looks more better. I could very much be 100% wrong. If somebody important watches this. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if, if somebody actually is going to watch this and knows would be real handy if you let me know. This is gonna come back off so I can fix it. Yes. But this is the way it's going on for now. And uh, we'll just deal with it. So right. but it works and it looks like it's supposed to be there. So. Cool. And when you cover it up, nobody will ever know. is installed. Alright. Just uh 
Don't drive too fast. That is not centered with the steering wheel. No, let's see, it's late over here. I'll hit nothing. Yeah, no, it's kind of what I was afraid of. Man, that steering wheel is so far forward. That steering column. I mean, because the steering wheel is going to be like right here. I know. I'm driving like this. Well, you got to remember that the other seat is yeah, probably no. back farther. You'd like to have a little <laughs> bit of movement with that seat. You're not going to get much. I won't. No. I won't have any movement. I'll have the seat slid all the way back. Yeah, that's probably what I'll have to. I was going to say, you can probably just stick your butt in there. Oh. I other than being not centered, I need a steering wheel. Alright, that's what I figured. I figured we're going to end up having to try to. Yeah, it's like something to do with the horn and stuff. Yeah. We're going to need a steering wheel. So it's going to be like right here. Alright, uh, yep. we're going to need a steering wheel. Hey. Keys. Huh? Found the keys. Really? It's in that bag. I guess we're all just looking over it. I didn't actually look oh, over it. I saw the bag. There. I didn't realize it was a bag. No. Well, I figured they would send the key with the truck. Cool. Start it up, let's go. Gas right. pedal, brake pedal's in it. I mean, the seat's there, that's fine. Well, your brakes aren't hooked up, so really, you know, that just- All gas, no brakes. That's it. see me and dad got the steering column set in this is a uh, flaming river uh, steering column and uh, everything went in just like it should I was pretty pleased the only thing you gotta gotta watch is you have to buy an adapter plate to bolt it all together but not a big deal it comes with all the turn signal switches and this is a tilt column everything's just uh, crudely bolted up nothing's actually set in stone um, it does come with keys so pretty pretty nice little setup and i've got kind of where the seats are going to sit this is kind of how how to sit in here i'll walk around to the other side and kind of show you but everything's coming together pretty good so right now i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to mock up some brackets to bolt down my plan is to build kind of a a square around it basically the front is gonna it's gonna have i think square tubing across the front to bolt down and then it's gonna have legs that bolt to the face here and then straight down to the bottom there and then just a reverse image of that on the other side these are I don't remember where these seats coming from, but anyway, they're like a universal style high back Jeep seat or something. Um, but they look really good in here. You can see I've got it slid back. I know it's touching the wall, but that's just so everything kind of stays where it's supposed to. But steering columns in, everything's like I said, just kind of closely bolted up. We're going to get some new rag joints for the front. Those aren't bad, but you know, can't ever be too safe on some of this stuff so all that stuff's pretty much bolted up so i'm gonna start working on a frame to try to get the seat mounted and then the steering wheel is a uh, same brand forever sharp it's in the ranchero and uh i like the way they look they're really nice and clean they don't it's one of those after you know aftermarket things that don't look too out of place so I like the way it looks but anyway so that's kind of kind of where we're sitting right now
so now you can kind of see my idea out in you know not in my head i had to break out the uh cad drawings and uh get it all kind of an idea on what i want to do it kind of slid forward while i was putting all this together but the idea is basically to have it pretty close to being uh this being flush with somewhere right in there and then i'm gonna add another bracket or tab onto this i'll have to put a little bin there and then bolt it in kind of like where they had from the factory right there but unfortunately the way my setup is i can't use that existing hole so i'm just going to come straight down with another plate and bolt it right there and then we'll, i'll probably do this part first Ideally, I would have liked to try to hide most all the bolts, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. So, you can kind of see the idea here. And then, I'm going to make another gusset here, but I'm going to come down as far as I can, close to here, to kind of support as much of this. I mean, this is all eighth inch angle iron, so it's pretty strong as it is, but that's kind of going to be this side, the back side is gonna be basically, uh, it's gonna have another piece of angle iron running across the back, just like the front, just the opposite direction. And then I'm gonna have another piece of angle iron kind of boxing it in, but still being able to get to the bolts. That was my biggest thing is like, yes, I could probably hide everything, but then you wouldn't be able to bolt it up. And then on this side, I'm basically gonna take a piece of angle iron and cut it out and then it's gonna go you can see where the angle iron bolted to the seat is more of an angle and i'm gonna straighten it out here to be level with the floor of the truck and then i'm gonna notch out the front and then whatever i notch out the front i'm gonna use as the plate for the bottom I'm trying to use as much material as i can you know, not waste anything because I don't I don't have a whole lot to use, so I'm trying to use every bit I can and reuse what I've got. Um, it's kind of I know it's not quite straight and everything, but I'm gonna get all that kind of sized out a little bit closer once I get to that point. But I wanted to kind of make sure I like the way it looked from the front. I mean, everything's gonna be painted painted black with black carpet, and then I'm probably I may or may not even paint the bolts black all the hardware like that which i mean it's really going to be that bolt up front so the only one you're going to see but all this is going to be painted black to uh try to blend it as much as i can to the floor and then i'm going to have to make a standalone bracket back here the same thing as the front that bolts right down into there so that's kind of the idea it took me a while to figure out what i really wanted and what i liked and what would work with what i had so I think this should be plenty strong. I don't I don't see any issues with it in case something ever happened. This is all fairly beefy metal. I'm gonna use good hardware. I mean, right now I've just got some stuff or whatever we had in the drawers just to get it bolted up, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of liking the way this is looking. up at this point I'm going to oh, try to reassemble it to see if everything lines up like it's supposed to and then I'm going to cut another piece the same length 
of the same uh, two by two angle iron. Then I'll set it up, drill it, and everything for the back. Um, and actually, my all my little ends, you can see it's all out of the same material. It's all out of this uh, two by two uh, angle iron. And it all seems to work pretty good. It welds pretty well, so I just keep using the same stuff. And I'm hoping this isn't going to be as hard to assemble once everything's more set in stone and I can take the seat all the way out. Because my hope is to be able to take basically take the seat out, lay it on its side, and then bolt this bracket to the seat bracket, and then set the seat bracket and everything in here, and then just be able to bolt it down. I didn't weld the bottom plate on here just in case I need to uh, do anything weird, take some more material off or you know something I, I didn't know. I didn't want to set it in stone either, so. If I can get it on over here. But I like the way it looks. I think it, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think it'll, I mean, it'll look a lot better once I'll paint it black, but so far so good. Uh, that angle over there, that bend, it actually bent a lot easier than I thought it would. Stop. Uh, but anyway, it bent a lot easier than I thought it would, so I was pretty excited about that. And as I'm going, like that angle over there, I just made a duplicate piece for the other side. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll match pretty close. But that's basically it there. I think that's going to work. got the back brackets tacked in to kind of where I think I want them my plan is so if you were to buy these seats and and use them the best way to center it up with the steering wheel is this slider goes directly above this ridge here and that's square with the steering wheel and everything lines up together. So my plan is, is I made these little feet. My original thought was I was just going to actually turn that plate around backward and have it L in and box all this in and look nice. But since that, uh, that ridge is in the way, I ended up flipping this one in and instead of making a really long leg on the back side, I just did the same thing and just flipped the bracket around and then I'll just box in the edges or I'm actually thinking something like this on the sides just to clean up and then up front, something like that, just to make it a little nicer, cover up the bolts that way you don't see everything. Um, but I think this will work. And then on here, I'm just gonna mark out uh, where this ridge is and where that ridge is and just kind of grind some of that out that way you know if it settles or what whatever happens like in the carpet i don't want it to cut a groove in the carpet um because it settles down on it because I, I i like the way this sit um it's all pretty square and flat in the truck it's kind of hard to see on this side but i didn't want to raise up the back a whole bunch and make it sit weird but you can see Everything fits pretty good. I gotta push it all back and get it all square, but we're getting ready to go ahead and get my holes drilled. And uh, I gotta weld my plate onto the other leg over there, but just wanna make sure everything's good and square. I'm gonna sit in the truck, kinda double check, make sure all my measurements and eyeballing is correct, because I'm probably gonna be the tallest person driving this. So as long as I fit in the, you know, in a tall position, um, and we've got, you can see, we've got plenty of seat to slide forward. I kind of made that because I'm like 6'2", and uh, Granddad's much shorter than I am, and so is everybody else. Dad is, and everybody's, 
you know, anybody that drives this is usually either going to be my height or shorter. So I figured if I made it for me to fit and then I give, you know, you can see I've got, I've got quite a bit of room to slide the seat forward. So all that looks pretty good. I'll walk around the other side and kind of show you how it looks in the truck. And then once I get all this welded up and make sure it all fits right, I've got duplicate brackets, so it's going to be real easy to, uh, I've got it slid all the way back just so the seat won't flip back on me. It was easier to do it that way. But you can see how the brackets are made over here and that bracket there. I got a couple little gaps there, but it made it fit a little more flush. And same thing over here. You can see everything fits real well. And then I'll just, all this is got to get covered up with a big center console, but to uh, have no sharp edges, I'm going to try to clean all this up. You can still get in here, get a wrench to it to get the bolts out. So I think all that turned out really good. All right, well, I am calling it. I'm done, but got all my holes drilled. Everything's still tacked up, but I am smooth out of welding gas. So I can't weld anything up and I won't be able to do anything till probably in a couple days to get to town because it's holidays, stuff like that. But anyway, turned out really good. And uh, we got quite a bit done while I was doing seat stuff. Dad was, uh, got the fuel lines all run, got the brake lines run up to the front, but we got the fuel lines put in, got, uh, we started routing vacuum lines up to the carburetor and uh, transmission and distributor got the new air cleaner oil breathers things like that so belts just we're getting real close to uh actually we are getting ready to set the nose on here that way we can finish brake lines finish power steering lines because i want to make sure nothing's going to get in to uh you know getting into each other but you know just a lot of stuff is done but in the uh, in the next video we'll be setting the nose on the front of this truck and uh really be knocking some stuff out but uh i'm uh, i'm excited with the the uh, progress we got done but i'm calling it here and uh thanks for watching